Hey guys, Ryu here with another tutorial and this one's gonna be for arraying stuff around rotated objects in Blender with hard ups. So we're going to drop a cylinder here with Shift A and move it somewhere here with G and then R to rotate it freely on whichever axis, preferably on all of them. So it's gonna mess up in a space somewhere here. And if you go to end panel into item data, you can see here that the rotation is really random, location is random, so everything is peachy. So now we're going to add a cube, uh, shift A, add a cube, and make it a bit smaller, uh, move it here, and let's go with Ctrl A and apply scale, okay, that's important, actually make it a bit smaller, Ctrl A, apply scale. Now what we need to do is we need to align this one with this one, okay? So the easiest way to do this would be to probably grab the snapping tool first and you go with, so you have to go here, click on face, then click on median and align rotation to target. What it will do, it will actually align this cube to one of these faces and sync it in so we can boolean it later. So click this cube, press G, hold control, and now you can align it to any face you want. So let's align it to this face here, like that. Actually, let's make it a bit smaller and control A, apply scale. Now everything is fine, okay? But we still need to align it this way, right? So the rotation is okay-ish, but it's not there yet. So what we can do is actually copy the rotation from this object to this object. So we're gonna select this object, shift select this object and control C and copy rotation. Now, in order to make this work, what you need to do is go here, click on preferences and go to add-ons and enable copy attributes menu, which is a native Blender add-on. So click here on this checkbox save preferences and you're good to go and then when you click on this item shift click on this item Control c you will see that you can copy a lot of stuff including modifiers it's really handy uh, for working in blender so now we got this situation here but we're still not there yet you know we're still not there yet we need, still need to work a little bit uh, because we align this cube to the rotation of the cylinder but we haven't aligned it to the rotation of the face yet so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to edit mode, select this face and control Q. This will run the align command from hard ops, but this is actually my personal shortcut. So in order to make it work for you, you would need to add a shortcut. So go here to Q menu, ST3 mesh tools, align view, right click and add a shortcut. Now this shortcut natively is for quitting blender. So go to preferences, key map and quit, uh, type here quit blender and simply press on this x just not on the favorites yeah? uh, there's gonna be like another option here quit blender click x save preferences and you're good to go you can use this shortcut or just use any shortcut doesn't matter now when you're in this menu here in this the kind of orientation so one more time select face Control q you can use Control and your mouse shift and your mouse or alt and your mouse to rotate around different axes. So one more time, click here and uh, press Ctrl Q, and then we're gonna hold Ctrl and align it here, like that. Click here and then zoom in. Now just don't rotate it uh, because you'll have to align it again. Go to object mode, select this cube, get a bit closer, press R, hold Ctrl, and now we can snap it to the rotation of this face. If it doesn't really align properly, just use it, you know, kind of like a manual alignment here. So hold shift, press R, hold shift, and kind of manually align this uh, to this edge. And there you go, this should work. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this kind of wonky orientation by pressing tilde and just clicking any of these blender views now what we're gonna do we're gonna move this cursor to the cylinder so we're going to click on the cylinder and shift test with machine tools and cursor to select it so the cursor is gonna jump from here to here now we can actually you know um, run the array around the cursor with hard ups so click on the cube and then go to Q, mesh tools 
and click control click on radial array which will array uh, it around your cube now you can adjust the amount of uh, you know uh, cubes you want you can go to edit mode and you can actually edit this cube if you wanted to uh, so you can do all kinds of funky stuff in addition to all this one as a bonus tip i can give you is that you can kind of parent it to this one so if you want to rotate it further or move it this will gonna kind of follow it right so now what we're going to do is we're going to parent this one to the cube so click this shift click this control p and object keep transform and what it will do it will literally parent your array to um to your object so you can move it rotate it and whatnot and you can still of course adjust it uh, with hard ups so there you go all right guys well that's a quick tip on arraying around rotated and moved objects hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did uh, links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description so if you would like to purchase these add-ons uh, go ahead and grab them through the links you can help me as well thank you for watching catch you in the next video